In this video, we will learn what are lambda functions in Python. With that, we will also see some live examples. So basically, lambda functions are functions without a name. That is an anonymous function. Okay, to create a lambda function, the keyword lambda is used. Okay, through this, you can also define a lambda function. Here, you can see the syntax. Okay, lambda arguments colon expressions. The lambda function can have any number of arguments, but remember only a single expression. Now to understand the concept, let us see some examples. Herein we will see five examples. So at first we will see how to multiply a number to an argument with lambda functions. Let's begin. Herein on PyCharm, create a project, file new project. Let me name it Python Lambda Functions. Click on create. Now our project got created. Let us create a new file. Right click Python file. Type a name. I will type demo. So we have our first file demo.py. So herein we will multiply a number to an argument. So at first take a variable. We will use the lambda. We have used the lambda keyword. Then we will be adding some expressions. So we are multiplying the argument with a particular number. That is we are multiplying with 2 here. Now when I will print it, I will print val 25 the result is val 25 that means this is a lambda function val and within that we are passing 25 value so 25 will get multiplied to 2 and the result will be 50 let's run right click run and then you can see the result is 50 so this is how you can multiply a number to an argument in lambda functions let us create a new example right click new python file demo 2 press enter So herein we are displaying a string. Let's say we have let's say we have a string. Now we will display it how using the lambda functions. Use the lambda, use the lambda keyword, then the name of the string. After that, we will print it. Like this. Okay, so when I'll right click and run it will show me the output hello world so this is how we can display a string using the lambda keyword that is the lambda function let's see another example demo 3 now we will multiply three argument multiply three arguments with lambda functions let us create a variable and within that use the lambda keyword so we will set three variables i j k and we will here multiply them using the lambda okay so here you can see we have not created a function that means you cannot see a function it is a function without a name and an anonymous function that's it uh, just uh, print it how i'll just uh, print val and within that the arguments for lambda function i'll add the three arguments so I have added three arguments 10 20 30 right click and run so herein I have added the values 10 20 30 it has been multiplied by the lambda function so the result is 6000 that is 10 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 30 so we have multiplied the three arguments using lambda functions now let's see another example demo 4 here we will find the maximum of two numbers. Here we will find the maximum of two numbers with lambda functions. How? Let us create a variable. Within that, we have used the lambda keyword. So here we are printing i if i is greater than j. That means if the maximum of i and j is i, it will print i. Else, it will print j. So we have set the conditions using lambda. Okay, now I'll print. I'll add two values here. Both of them will get compared here. So it will display 100. Why? Because i is 50 and j is 100. It won't satisfy the first condition because i is greater than j. We want, but in actual i is less than j. So the condition will go 
will go here and j will get printed that is j is the maximum value when i'll run it it will print j that is 100 so in this way we can easily find the maximum of two numbers with lambda function now next example okay so we will find the square of a number with lambda functions okay so herein we have taken a variable so herein we have val we have used the lambda keyword and we have just multiplied the variable i twice why because we wanted the square of a number okay so i'll just display the result how just by using the val and just mentioning the argument it will go here multiply 9 into 9 that is the result should be 81 right click and the result is 81 in this way guys we found the square of a number so guys in this video we saw how we can work around lambda functions what are what is the usage with that we also saw some live examples thank you for watching the video